Hello guys, today I will be sharing my thought on the final lineup of Girls Planet 999. Here we go. I was so shocked when I heard this group name, maybe Cosmics could have been a better name. Here were my first reaction with a friend when we first heard the name Life. My favorite in the C group, glad she debuted and honestly expected her to place a bit higher and maybe staying center, I was surprised seeing her go down from 1st to 9th. I was really happy when her name was first mentioned, I was very excited to see her in the top 9. I supported her ever since Mafia, my favorite J group along with Urena but let's not talk about that one. But Rambo, I knew she was going to debut after this. Not my favorite but still like her, also finally we have a rapper in a group. Really like her, she reminds me a bit of Nako while looking like a Jungkook. Was in my top 9 list since the first episode. I didn't really get the hype around her, her performances didn't really catch my attention. But I will admit she can be the main dancer, main singer and main rapper. Our main protagonist of Girls Planet 999, fell under my radar completely early in the show. I've even watched Produce 48 before but have never seen her. But she came back strong later in the show, I got really surprised by her ice cream performance and feel very delighted that she finally gets to debut in her second try. I have so much to say about Eugen, but I will try to keep it short. I've really liked her even when I don't really know all CLC members very well, I thought she is the prettiest in that group and she is my bias in CLC. So I knew I was going to have a favorite in the show before she even performed Bubble Pop. I liked every performance from Eugen. I am thrilled to see her in Kepler. SD Another girl that completely fell under my radar, glad she clutched the center spot from Bahi. I really like her too for being one of the more stable performer in the show. She has shown a ton of good vocals and I can listen to her all day, her voice really reminds me of Chaewon. They even have a similar story, similar name I would not be surprised if she was her sister. She was not always at the top but was getting better and better each episode and at the end of the show and debuting, I have no clue what is going to happen with her being the center but then again I wouldn't know who else to put in center anyways. I was really skeptical when I saw the trailer for a new season of Cough Cough Produce series three months ago. I was a big IZ1 fan and was already feeling sad when they disbanded earlier this year and also thought there wouldn't be another season after the voting scandal. My first thought was that if I'm going to watch the show I'm going to have an another heartbreak when they're going to disband after two and a half years like IZ1, but I still watched the first episode. Right now I don't think I regret watching the show, it was really fun and it was something I look forward every Friday and made this summer fun for me. I was so shocked that Irina did not make the final lineup. I already knew she wasn't going to be in the final lineup after they called Burry's name and with Cheyun Seo Ting left over. I am glad she isn't going to quit and decided to continue down this path and I will keep myself updated with her. Side note on why I ignore Bahi and simply put XD on her. I know it's childish and toxic to do so, and I know it's not her fault for being the sister of Kai but I really can't get out of the fact that she debuted just because of her brother's insane popularity, almost all the internationals voters voted for her and I really can't say she deserved the second spot, maybe even lower. You could argue that she was the most stable performer during the entire show with good vocals, but I have never saw a moment or any performance that made me think she deserves to debut other than she is TXT's little sister. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, please like the video and subscribe for more future content.